So SEO is always one of those things that you hear you need to be doing on your site, but you're not exactly sure what that means. So we're gonna go through exactly what that means in this video and how to get started with on-site SEO. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann, owner of Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And we have been Shopify experts for five years now. And we talk to so many people about SEO and it's important, but people don't really know exactly what that means. So SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. So really you're just trying to optimize your site so that it gets ranked higher in the search engines. And that's really all that's to it, right? Actually, there's a lot of different things that come into place in terms of what deems you're ranking in the search engines, but we're gonna get started on one of the most basic ones that you can get started with today, which is on-site SEO. So on-site SEO is the keywords and phrases that you're putting into your site to actually optimize it for the search engines. So in Shopify, you can control your SEO information for the search engines for products, collections, pages, and blog posts so that it's a really easy way to make sure that your keywords are being searched for and found on your site and hopefully getting you ranked higher in the search engines as well. So how exactly do you go about doing this? So the first step is actually to find the keywords that are being searched for whenever people are trying to find you. So you really need to think through your ideal customer's mindset. What exactly are they going to be searching for? And how is that related to your products? So you want to make sure that you go a little bit specific for this. So an example that I like to give is black boots. So let's say you are a women's clothing store. If your keyword was black boots, that's going to be a really high targeted keyword. So instead try and get something very niche like black knee high women's boots. That's something that's very specific that people would be searching for. And so you're more likely to actually show up for that than something so general as black boots. The more general the keyword, the harder it is going to be to rank for it because you have all of the huge competitors like Amazon, Walmart, Target, all of those big players that are going for those keywords. So if you can get really niche down on what your keyword is while still having people search for that, that is the key. So we're not going to go too much into finding keywords for your products. However, I recommend that you check out the Google Keyword Planner tool and I will link the description below and in the info cards of this video so that you can check that out and start finding the keywords. Now, once you have the keywords that you're going to be using for your Shopify store, the next part is the on-site SEO. So this is actually putting those keywords on your site in the correct places. So anytime you go into your Shopify backend, we'll go first to products. If we scroll down to the bottom of the products page, you'll actually see this search engine area here. And if you click in to edit it, you'll be able to edit the title, the description, as well as the handle. So you're wanting to make sure that you're adding all of those keywords into this area. So picking a specific keyword for each product or page or collection, and then going in and adding it into this section. Now, a key tip is to make sure that it still flows as a readable sentence. You know, people are going to be actually seeing this on the search engines. This is what it's going to look like. So at the top, you're going to have your title there. Then you have the description and the page handle is in the actual link. So you want it to come off and be really readable for someone and not just for the robots, because if it looks like your keyword stuffing, not only is that going to not fare well with you with Google, but no one's going to click on it because it's going to be really confusing. So make sure that your titles, descriptions, all of it is reading as a complete sentence that makes sense and still supports your keyword and whatever it is that that page or product is talking about. So you'll repeat this process of going in and editing this information 
for all of the products, collections, pages, blog posts on your site that you want to rank high in the search engines so that you can start getting listed higher and higher up there and get noticed more. Now, as I said before, there are so many things that go into search engine optimization and getting you to page one of Google for your specific keywords. So this is just one part of it all, but I always recommend starting with on-site SEO first because this is the first step of finding those keywords, getting them into the correct places on your site, because then you can actually go into link building and other ways of building up authority so that Google wants to rank you first because it's seeing you as an expert in your field. So that's kind of the next step, but on-site SEO is the first place to start with your new Shopify store. Now, if you're looking for more tips on how to really integrate SEO into your site and to get ranked on page one of Google, check out our online class called SEO for Shopify stores, and you'll learn exactly what to do moving forward from here of getting all those keywords, putting them in all the right places and getting your site ranked. So check out that class if you want a little bit more information about how to rank your Shopify store. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to this video and be the first to be notified whenever we publish new videos every Monday through Friday, all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.